Here we go in Idea Maker. So we've got the model here, same one. I'm gonna hit the right mouse button and I am going to duplicate and I'm gonna choose two copies. And it's gonna set them out over here. And again, I can, I can, let's see, I can go to move and I can move this one over here and I can move this one over here. But the idea being I want Idea Maker. I want the slicer to center everything for me with precision. And so if I hit Command or Control A, hit the right mouse button, and I believe if I go to align, there we go. They are all aligned. Of course, I can, I can hit the right mouse button and go center, which is, which is fine. It'll center it on X and Y. But I hit align, which aligns all of those models together. So now uh, what I want to do is I want to select each one and do the thing where we compute the, the distance between each one. Again, it's 5 millimeters, so we want 0 0.25 millimeters for the gap. If I go over here and hit this button, it gives me the list of the items that we have. So if I hit that, I know that's at zero and we can, we're, we're fine there. Uh, but if I go, let's see, if I go to move, it does show zero, so that's good. So I'm gonna go here, second one. I'm gonna go to move and I want that at 5.25 again. And I'm gonna enter, awesome. Go back to this list and the bottom one, and then go over here and select five. No, wait a minute, 10.5, right? Perfect. <laughs> and there we go. There's the models on the build plate. And you can see there is a teeny tiny little gap in between. So let's slice these and see how it looks. I'm going to use an E2 profile for PTG, but the layer height is 0.25 millimeters. One of the things you have to watch out for when you're slicing is the first layer height. And this one, it's originally not this, but I changed it to 0.25. And so you want the same layer height for all of the layers in your model. So we're good to go. We can slice this. No, no. All right, sliced, five hours. There's the, the amount of filament. And uh, if we look, we see that space, that beautiful, beautiful little space. And so what I can do is bring it down until we get to that one right there. Let me zoom out just a little bit. And then I will back this out. So you can see that we are currently at, it says at the bottom, and you can see that we are at 5.5. That could be, well, let's, let's tackle that one. That could be a little bit um, confusing, right? Uh, so if we're down at zero, what the, what the preview is showing is the layer height at the top of the model. And so layer one is 0 0.25 millimeters tall. And so if we go all the way to five, it's gonna show us the completed model, which is layer 20. Now, if we go to 21, Again, there's, there's nothing there. That's our gap layer. It just doesn't show it in the preview. So now if we go to 22, layer 22, and it says 5.5. And the reason for that is because the next layer is 0 0.25 millimeters tall. And so we had that gap. And then that next layer started at the gap and went a little bit taller, which means that that next layer at its height is 5.5 millimeters in the air. And that's how these all continue, just like this. And they go up and then they go up. This will print just fine and we don't have to do anything to it. And so with Idea Maker, you're good to go. And that's how you stack prints in Idea Maker. But we're not done yet. If you wanna look at Cura, it's right here. And Simplify 3Ds right here. You could look at Prusa Slicer right here, or you could go to the end and find out if it worked. You have options, go ahead and pick. You can pick this one, or that one, or that one. Or I can't even, or this one, or that one.